Hi everyone, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and today I have a really fun little project for you. I think you're going to really like it, so stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I did it. Okay, so I found these nice boxes at Walmart and I really like them because um, they have a pattern that will go with just about anything as far as the bottom part of the box okay and then I have this red and green one here I don't even look at the lids um, because we're going to be doing something to the lid so it won't matter what is on the lid you just want to look at the box part okay and um, choose the best box that will go well with the ornament that you would like to use on your little box and I also choose boxes that are about four inches deep because that gives you room to put a little paper shred at the bottom maybe tissue paper and still fill your boxes with goodies and I do like these boxes from Walmart they seem to be very sturdy and they have um, well fitting lids and this one here the rectangular one was three dollars and forty eight cents and this one here was two dollars and twenty eight cents so today we're going to be using this box okay and what I do is I take off the lid and I gently kind of coax the lid like this and I do that just so it will slide on and off the box fairly easily All right. I don't do it enough where I'm going to damage the structure of the lid or um, weaken it. I just do it enough to where the lid will go on and off nicely. All right. So we're going to set the box itself aside because we're not going to touch the box. Okay. We're going to be focusing on this lid, and so. I'm going to use one of my um, cut up little scrubber sponges that I got from the Dollar Tree and this white paint here this is folk art multi-surface paint in wicker white and I already shook it up I'm going to place a little bit here on my wax paper Oh my goodness, hold on. Sorry about that. I think I probably need a new bottle pretty soon. I've used quite a bit of this. Okay, I'll start with that anyway. Alright, and you're just going to paint, of course, the sides and the top. And just take your time doing it. I'm gonna Just go like this all over the box. And we're just going to cover that. So um, I won't make you sit here and watch me do the entire box. I'm just giving you a, a rough idea. just going to cover the box. Okay, so I'll go ahead and finish this off camera and then we're going to allow this to dry thoroughly before we go on to the next step, okay? Okay, so this is completely dried. It's not tacky to the touch or anything like that and I help this along by putting this in front of a tabletop fan and I put the fan in the other room because it's it's cold right now so I didn't want the fan blowing but with um, the fan in another room and the door shut then everything was fine so we have this painted white and we did paint this white for a reason because we're going to be using iridescent glitter and so um, 
we want to kind of blend everything in and not have anything show through that glitter. But more than that, we're using the Deco Art Triple Thick today. And um, if we had just put this Triple Thick straight onto this without painting it white, um, it takes a while to dry, so it would just kind of soak into the cardboard, and we didn't want anything like that. So with this painted and dried, then this will be okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So, <clears throat> we open the jar, and I'm using a very soft makeup brush, e.l.f. brand, that I purchased from the Dollar, the Dollar Tree several years ago. And um, we're just going to paint the top, and only the top, with this. Be careful, you don't want it to like drip down the edges or anything like that. And we're putting um, a good amount, not ridiculously heavy or anything like that, but we don't want it too thin. And we're going to do the top like this, all over. And I won't sit here and make you watch me paint this triple thick on here, the whole box. But So you kind of get an idea of the thickness of this, all right? And it's important to work fairly quickly, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then we'll be back when it's covered. Okay, so I just spread all of the triple thick on, and I'm going to start with um, some German glass glitter, and you can purchase this online, and I can give you a link for that on my blog, or you can go to Amazon and type in the words diamond dust, and it'll be the same type of thing. Um, they sell it by the jar. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit here and there. I'm not going to go uh, crazy with it. I just want a little bit, just enough to give it that glimmer. And I'm putting the diamond dust on first, so we'll kind of see um, about how about how much I have on here. Okay, so you can see that it's not much at all, but it's enough to give it a glimpse. Um, I'm going to put on this Snowy Surprise Glitter I bought at Walmart, and it has different, different cuts of iridescent glitter. I'm going to put quite a bit of that on. And I'm going to... Um, do my best to work fairly quickly, and as I'm sure you can see, because I don't want this to dry up before I get the glitter on, okay? Then I'm going to add some of this Recollections glitter, and this is um, chunky glitter by Recollections, and it is in the color Glitz. And you can find this at um, Michael's. They're the ones that carry the Recollections glitter brand. Hobby Lobby does not. Okay. Don't worry about getting too much because you can always shake it off and pour it into a little container and use on a, another project. And I'm flipping this over um, the popsicle stick and using the other side. I'm just going to turn this over, give it a couple of taps on the side, and so it's looking good. There's only a couple of really tiny areas here where it looks like I missed, and it, it's so small, really, 
that you hardly notice it at all. But I'll just go back in with a little bit of triple thick here and here and um, just give it a little bit of a touch up. But <clears throat> see with the white paint it's nice because it's not super noticeable or anything. Um, but if this was a different color uh, or a dark lid or any type of color underneath um, this other than the white paint then it would definitely show up like a sore thumb. So uh, I think it's looking very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and touch up those two teeny weeny areas. One was here and the other one here. And um, I'll go ahead and fix that and then we'll be back. Okay, so next you're going to need um, four wooden balls and these wooden balls are about 18 millimeter or three-fourths of an inch roughly and it doesn't matter whether they have holes or not um, these are just what I had so these are 18 millimeter the ones that we're using today but I would say um, it's okay to use you know 18 20 millimeter so um, I'm going to be painting this with the same color white as we painted the lid and um, then I'm gonna let these dry thoroughly and my lid is in the other room drying near my tabletop fan, but I'll probably leave that to dry overnight um, before we finish the rest of it. Okay, so I'm going to be painting these balls and then we'll be back. Okay, so this lid is completely dried. So <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is set that aside and take our box and glue on the four painted wooden balls one on each corner okay so <clears throat> we're gonna do that now and I'm using my mini detail hot glue gun and this is um, the Gorilla Glue glue sticks that I'm using and place them right in the corner there like that <clears throat> and I'll do that for all four sides Good. Then I'm going to turn this around and we'll do these sides. Okay. It's pretty good. Then I'll do the <clears throat> the last one. some glue on it. Right here. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm going to allow these to dry just for a second. And while that's happening, I'm going to show you this little ornament that I bought at Walmart. <clears throat> and this was $2.48. And it's made out of some kind of uh, plastic. The glitter already came on the little deer and the bird, and it's on there really well. So I'm going to cut this little string part off. Then I'm going to take my <clears throat> my jewelry pliers and I'll see how this works taking this off. I really don't know um, how it works because I haven't done this particular ornament yet, <clears throat> but we'll find out. See, righty tidy lefty loosey. Okay, oh <laughs> 
Wow. Okay, that came right out. All right. So here we go. Looks good. No gaping holes. All right. <clears throat> Make sure this is... Yeah, it's on there nice and tight. So you can see the little... So I'm going to see... I want to place it right about here because this is going to be the the handle. We're going to take this and... and Hand me... Move out my camera. Boy, I'm having all kinds of problems, huh? Yeah, because we're going to take this and use this as the handle to lift the lid off and on. So I'm just kind of seeing about where it's touching. And it looks like right in here, which is nice. Kind of these little, this part here kind of shows you right away where it's touching. That's what's standing out the most. And place this right smack in the middle. Like that. Alright. Okay. Now, next, I made a little um, lace bow here with some vintage uh, flexi lace. And so I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on the back of that and put this right under the deer's neck, like so. Okay, so um, for this little box here, I bought some uh, lace to put around here, vintage looking lace. So I'm going to turn this around. And I purchased this little lace trim from Hobby Lobby. Okay, they have it in the fabric section. And for this particular project, I'm going to be using my my mini detail glue gun. And I'm just going to put a little bit at one end. And make sure it holds. Right there. Okay. Now, um, I'm just going to put a little dot here, a little dot there, just like this, all the way down. I don't want to goop it up with a bunch of hot glue. Just keep going all the way around. Like, like this. Okay. Make sure it's nice and straight before you move on. So I'm going to turn this around. I'll have to back up my camera a little bit. And I'm going to put a little stripe here and then some hot glue like that, little dots all the way down. And then of course I'm going to press it down. around like this and do the same thing And then, of course, the last side here. Okay. 
So I'm going to take this lid off for just a second. And I'm going to cut it right here to make it look nice and even with this corner. Okay, I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to have to set this down. I'm trying to uh, look over the camera at the same time that I'm doing this, so if you'll excuse me. All right. And see, I'll just match it up like that. So let me get my little glue gun. it up. See? Looks nice. And then of course I see this right here. So I'm going to snip that off like that. Hmm. All right. So now we have that. And we have our little lace on our box now. Sorry for all the noise, the clunking around and everything, but sometimes that can't be helped. <laughs> I thought about putting a little bit of snow around here, you know, the fake snow that you can buy at the craft stores, but I decided against that because um, I don't know how long that would last, and this I think will last for quite a few years. So, um, now, you also, if you'd like to, you can also place like a little white snowflake in the front or a little sign that says Merry Christmas. I'm going to see what I have in my closet and then I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I found a package of these little Merry Christmas ornaments that I bought several years ago now. Um, at the Dollar Tree and although it's cute there's just too much pattern in the background and it kind of gets lost so I'm not going to use that okay so I took one of my little three inch snowflakes that um, we blinged up earlier for another project and these are three inches and I bought the package on Amazon okay and I kind of like this and it's just the right size but I would definitely want it standing out a little bit to give it some uh, dimension once again I think if I lay it flat like that it's gonna get lost in the pattern okay and I did want to put a little piece of bling in here so I'm gonna do that now put some hot glue on here and add one of my little beautiful AliExpress gems and I will put the link um, to where you can find these um, on AliExpress on my blog at happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com okay so now I'm going to take some of this mounting tape you know to give your um, the little snowflake some depth and I only need a little bit. And this stuff from Dollar Tree, it really does stick well. Okay. Take the paper off. And even though it sticks, I'm still going to put a little dab of hot glue. That's just me. <laughs> All right. And let's slip it out here, I think. Would look good. About like that, yeah. I think that looks good. Just about like that. And if you wanted to give it even more depth, you could put one foam mount on top of the other and it'll bring it forward a little more. But I think this is actually pretty good right there. Okay, so um, 
I'm thinking about putting a tiny little piece of bling there. I don't know if this would be too much. Maybe if it was down a little lower on the neck. You know, it's so close to the nose up there. If it was down a little bit, I would say yes, but I think it's a little too much, you know, for how close it, uh, this bow is with the nose. So I'm going to have to find a tinier piece of bling, I think, and then maybe put it there. So we'll see if that helps. Okay, so I'm going to grab maybe a tiny little rhinestone here from these rhinestones I bought from Walmart. And um, these are hanging up above where the spools of ribbon are. You know, where all the little embellishments are, the little tiny flowers, ribbon flowers and whatnot. Okay, and so I'm going to cut this. Okay. I could use fabric uh, fabric tack on this, but I'm just using a teeny weeny dot of hot glue. Oh yeah, see, that's exactly what it needed. It's small enough where it gives it a little bling there, but it's not so overpowering. It's not competing f <laughs> with the deer's face <laughs> because it's so large. So I think that looks really nice. And I know it's probably difficult to see the top, but it's really nice, and the glitter's on there. It's not shedding because of the um, triple thick that we used. So I really think this box turned out pretty. So the very last thing you're going to do with this, of course, is you're going to have to um, fill it up with goodies. Now this part, there will be a lot of bag rattling. So if you're sensitive to that, please put this tutorial on mute, okay? We're going to put a little bit of these little paper shreds in there. But you have to have paper shreds or tissue of some sort, right? I believe I got these, uh, I must have got that at Walmart or someplace, but they have them at Dollar Tree, of course, you know that. Okay, and you can put anything you want in here. You can put uh, cookies, you know, put them in the little cellophane bags or um, candies. I'm just going to throw some stuff in here just to show you. Here's some holiday pretzels. Put that here. Maybe a little Debbie Christmas cake. Put that here. Maybe some Ghirardelli raspberry chocolates. Maybe, um, maybe a few candy canes. Oops, sorry. Anything you'd like, okay? That's just an example. But you can see, I mean, it, it fits quite a bit. Okay, so I hope you give this sweet little box a try. It was a lot of fun, and um, you can tell that it holds quite a bit, actually. It's nice and sturdy, and I think this would make a wonderful little gift for someone who's all alone, or um, maybe your neighbor, or someone special that you work with, or maybe um, a certain cashier that has been sweet to you all year long despite everything she's got to deal with. What a surprise that would be to bring her something like this. 
So think about who you'd like to give this to. And I really hope you give this a try. So take care and Merry Christmas and God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.